In the world we live in, life seems to move faster and faster around us with little in its way to slow it down. We spend our lives trying to keep up with this crazy world as we hurry from place to place, task to task with so much going on that we seem to not even have time to eat. What if I told you that your life didn't need to be this hectic? What if I told you that each and every day could be planned out and stress-free? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I changed my life from a non-stop train of stress to a lazy river filled with time for me to get what I need to done. What is going on guys, my name is Dimitri, and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I make self-development and productivity videos every single week, along with a podcast where I talk about the same topics. If you like what you see here, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Back into the topic of the video, I wanted to talk to you guys about exactly how to plan your days because it's a not very well discussed topic in my opinion. I think there's a lot of people who say they have great time management and some of you might, some of you may not, but it's a very gray area regarding that because you know, you can have a lot on your plate but still not be that great with time management. I'm making this video because I have gone through a lot of changes in my own systems to improve my life and I found that my stress is down, I have a lot more time on my hands and I just get more done in general. Before I show you how I plan my days, I think it's important that we go and look back at and get a glimpse of what my life was like before I implemented these changes. A year and a half ago, this is how my day would look. I'd wake up late, I was always doing homework and other things last minute, and I was constantly stressed to miss deadlines. Today I wake up early and I always know what I need to get done. Even if I'm behind on what I need to get done for that day, I'm always still way ahead of the actual deadline and I'm never stressed about finishing things on time. So I'm guessing at this point that you're asking exactly what I do to plan out my days in order to build a better life and live more stress-free and enjoy everything going on more overall. What I do boils down to using three tools to maximize my productivity and help me plan my day the right way. The three tools that I use to plan out my days properly are based on three concepts. The what I need to do, the when I need to do it, and the how I need to do it. So first, I'll begin with the what. It's pretty obvious that in order for us to be productive, we first need to do things that are important to us and that help move our lives forward in some way or another. These things first and foremost need to be put onto a to-do list in order for us to keep track of exactly what needs to get done. Well, this is something that many of us do. I find that a lot of us fall pretty short when it comes to prioritizing the tasks on that list. In order to manage my own tasks, I have them in different task groups rather than lumping them all together because it really is hard to figure out what you need to do first unless you have a priority-based system that you can finish your tasks with. For me, I always use my to-do list as a place to showcase what needs to get done in the proper order so that I'm never prioritizing less important tasks before the ones that really matter. I actually break down my various tasks into these different task groups and color code them to match the next part of how I plan, which I will show you guys in a little bit. Green is for school, yellow is for working out, red is for work, orange is for housekeeping, purple is scheduling and reflection, and blue is for social. As you can see, they are in descending order to signify from top to bottom what tasks take priority over the other. By doing this, I am always making sure that my priorities are in check so that I can do whatever it is that I need to do to be the most successful first. While this may seem like it's a little much, I think it's important to note that since I have this, I'm always making sure that I'm prioritizing being successful over doing things like catching up on Netflix shows. Well, there are plenty of options when it comes to to-do list apps. The main one I suggest over everything is Notion for its versatility, and the other two are Todoist, which is another great option, and TickTick, which is actually a to-do list app that I've used before and found works pretty well. Now that I've gone over the what, it's important that we dive into the when. When talking about when you're going to do something, most people assign it to a day or even a part of the day, but I like to go even more granular than that and make sure that I set it to a specific time based on my calendar and more specifically my block schedule. I'm sure many of you here have already seen my block schedule, but I wanted to show it again for a few reasons. The first is just as a basic concept, and the second is to highlight that the colors you see here match the colors on my task groups in Notion so that I can easily put tasks from my to-do list on my Notion calendar based on the times that I've given myself to complete the different tasks on my block schedule. Something very key to note here is that everything is accounted for and that I make time for each task group. 
A person in school may have an example block schedule that looks more like this, and even though they may have a lot of different things on their plate, there is always a time during the week where they can make time for even the small housekeeping tasks they need to do as well as reflection and having social time with others. Creating a block schedule that has time set aside for every important aspect of your life is honestly hard to do. You know, you need to balance your work life, your social balance. There's a really hard struggle there. But what I would recommend is that you always put some time aside for reflection and for scheduling so that when you're making this block schedule, you can adjust it over the first few weeks and you'll probably figure out what works for you. You know, if you put too much time regarding work in the first week or two, you can dial it back a bit and then vice versa. If you feel like you're just kind of not being productive as you want to be, it's really easy to change things if you take the time to reflect on them rather than just living life as it is. My suggestions for a calendar app would honestly only be Google Calendar and Woven Calendar. Google Calendar is obviously free and has a great and easy to use interface, while Woven is similar and has some more advanced features like templates. It hasn't been around for that long, but I'm intrigued to see how it will improve and where it will go in the future. For those of you using Apple Calendar, I personally think Google Calendar is better. I think it's kind of hard to say what's better for each person, but for me, the invitation process with Google is a little easier and more people use Google Calendar. So when you're getting an invitation regarding an event, it shows up better on Google Calendar, I think personally. I don't know, I maybe the calendar app on Macs and the laptop version of it shows better, but the Apple calendar app on like your phone or your iPad. It just really isn't the same sort of block schedule thing. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. And if you like it, I'm not going to say don't use it, but I would really suggest giving Google Calendar a try. Lastly, when it comes to the how of planning your day, it's important that you have a task slash project management system so that you can keep track of the different things going on in your life. When you have a very busy schedule, it's hard to keep track of everything. So by using a project management system, you can really mitigate a lot of that stress and a lot of that not knowing exactly what's going on in your projects and tasks. A task or project management system is used so that short-term tasks and long-term projects can have their progress tracked and marked off while also maintaining some sort of data and progress tracking of what you did to complete them, as well as any other information that might come in handy later. As you can see here, my Notion calendar is full of the YouTube work sessions that I've done over time. And within those different tasks, you can find what exactly I did on those days, what videos I edited, what videos I recorded, what thumbnails I made. And that's a really good place to look so that I know what my schedule was like before. And it's another great thing to use for reflection. The what, when, and how can honestly all be found here. And that's absolutely amazing. My suggestions for task management systems are actually very similar to what I had for to-do list because many people like to have their task management system and their to-do list integrated because that just kind of meshes a little bit better. You can have it separate as well though. Notion and Todoist are great options and would honestly be my first two choices, but I've seen and read awesome things about ClickUp and I think it's something that you might want to check out. It's actually used by some big name companies for their employees as well. Like I said, if you want to separate your task management systems and your to-do list, that's totally okay. I only have a page in Notion to separate the two, and I think that works for me, but some people do like to compartmentalize things a little bit more, and I totally get that. If you want to go that route, I would suggest using Notion as a task management system and to use Todoist as a to-do list. I mean, it's kind of in the name. It works for that. And that is how I properly plan out my days. I think it's really important to note one more time that that whole task group thing is something that's really helped me prioritize my tasks just the right way. I think there are housekeeping things that happen or different small things that need to get put on the back burner sometimes, because if you don't make time for doing the things that you need to work-wise, you're going to probably fall into a spot where you're always prioritizing the small things over the more important things. And that's just not gonna put you on the right route to success. Now, there are some housekeeping things that are more important than work sometimes. You know, if you have something very pressing in your house, you know, you got a water heater leak, you probably need to get that fixed. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the little things here and there that you really don't think about as being that important. Sometimes you're doing that to actually procrastinate from real work and by prioritizing your tasks in this way, you're not gonna do that as much. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for all the support. You guys are absolutely amazing. I really appreciate every single one of you commenting, liking, and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next one.